Hello, my name is Cheryl Holland. I am the Education, Political Science, and Sociology Librarian for Washington University in St. Louis. Welcome to this pre-recorded workshop on accessing affordable course materials during COVID-19. Our primary goal is to help you save money by teaching you how to use the library's collections and services to find your textbooks and other course materials that are needed for your classes. All you will need is your syllabi or the list of textbooks. This workshop will be divided into three segments. In the first segment, we will cover how to find books in three library catalogs, the University Libraries Catalog, sometimes called the Classic Catalog, the Mobius Catalog, which is a consortium of libraries in Missouri and the Midwest, and the WorldCat First Search Catalog, which includes libraries throughout the United States. In the second segment, we will cover how to find course-related materials that are placed on reserve by your instructor. This can include book chapters, articles, streaming videos, etc. And finally, in the third segment, we will search textbook price comparison websites if you cannot find your books in any of the library catalogs or on course reserves. You will begin your search from, for textbooks on the Textbook Affordability Resource Guide. From the library's home page at library.wolstool.edu, on the left-hand side navigation bar, type in textbook and enter. Scroll down, select Save Money on Textbooks. Scroll down, select Resource on Textbook Affordability. The Textbook Affordability Resource Guide is designed to take you through a step-by-step -step process to help you to find textbooks for your classes. Always start your search in the Washington University Libraries catalog. You can search by title, author, or ISBN number, if available. The ISBN number is a unique number similar to a barcode that is assigned to all books. It guarantees that you're getting the exact book assigned by your instructor. You will now begin searching for your books. They can be print books or ebooks. Ebooks are also known as electronic books. Our first title here is Statistical Methods for Social Sciences, 4th edition, published in 2009. The author is Alan Agrestic. So we can start our search here. We own this title. The first one is the correct edition and year. And according to the status, it's not checked out. You can request this book by selecting the request button, or if you happen to be in the library, you can get it off the shelf and check it out. The next book we're gonna search for is The History of Art History. Published in 2019, the author is Christopher Wood. We have two copies of the same book, one in print, the other as an ebook. The thing to remember about ebooks is that some publishers place restrictions on the use of its contents. These restrictions can place limits on how many pages can be copied, saved, printed, emailed, or downloaded. Generally, the restrictions can be found on the first few pages of ebooks, so make sure that you read them before you get started. Let's take a look at this ebook. This is a full record you have more information about the contents of this book. To get access, just collect, select the full text link. And here is the book. As you can see, the chapters are numbered. 
and you have the ability to read this book online or download the PDF. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, the next book that we're going to search is Behind the Fog. How the U.S. Cold Radiological Weapons Program Exposed Innocent Americans. Published in 2018, the author is Lisa Martina Taylor. When the title is highlighted in red text, it indicates that the title is not owned by WashU. So you'll need to click the Mobius button at the top of the navigation bar to see if it's available. Scroll down and it appears that Mobius does own it. Select the request button and follow the instruction to place a request for interlibrary loan. That would be to identify yourself as from WashU. Submit the information and complete the request verification form which asks for the Wustel key. Scroll down to get information about where this book will be um, where you can pick this book up on on campus and then submit it. The next title is No Size Fits All, a new program of choice for American public schools without vouchers. Published in 2020, the author is Richard Streiner. The title is highlighted in red text, indicating that the title is not owned by WashU. So you'll need to select the Mobius button at the top of the navigation bar to see if it's owned by Mobius. As we scroll down, what we see in Mobius is that the title is also highlighted in red, indicating that the title is not owned by Mobius. Now we'll have to search the WorldCat First Search Catalog to see if it's available through Interlibrary Loan. I'm going to do that from the library's home page. Type in First Search and Submit. We're looking for the First Search WorldCat Catalog. Okay, and here we have the WorldCat First Search Catalog. Okay, what I'm going to do first is to change the keyword index to the title index and then type in the title. Here it is right here. I'm going to search, scroll down. It appears that WorldCat does own it. It's number two. The author is Richard Streiner. Publication date 2020. So let's look at the full record. Since we know that this book is not owned by Warshu or Mobius, what we'll need to do is send a request to Iliad. Iliad is our interlibrary loan service, and what you'll need to do is to enter your Wustel key to get into your personal account. Okay, as you can see, all of the information about the book has been auto-fed into the form from WorldCat. 
All you need to do is scroll down to make sure that the not wanted after date is filled in uh, and the pip pickup location is filled in. Due to COVID, it defaults to curbside pick in, pick up, and you'll need to just submit the request. In your accounts, you can also check the status of books or articles that you've previously requested, and you can also initiate requests of articles, books, or book chapters in your account. Pretty straightforward. This brings us to segment two. Let's take a look at course reserves to see if any of your instructors have placed any course materials on reserves for your class. So you want to scroll down to Aries and log in with your Wustel key. If any instructor has placed any materials on reserves for any of your classes, they will be listed here in your account. Just select the class that you're looking for. This brings us to the final segment. For those books that you could not find in any of the library catalogs, you can search the list of affordable textbook websites. These websites were recommended by students. We have included five for your convenience. Book Finder, Velour Books, Big Worm, Slug Books, and Student Rate. The best way to search these sites is by ISBN number if, you, if available. But you can search by author and title. I'm going to search Book Finder. For the book that I have here, it's called Fat, The Secret Organ, The Surprising Science Behind the Body's Most Misunderstood Part of the Body. It was published in 2020. The author is Mariette Boone. And I have the ISBN number, and I'm going to search by it. And here we are. Search. The book is listed with various booksellers offering a variety of prices for both new and used copies. So what you can do is take a look at what the vendors are offering these books for and select a bookseller that offers you the best price. This brings us to the end of this workshop. To summarize, we discussed three ways to find textbooks and course materials in the library. First, we searched three catalogs to find books. The University Libraries Catalog, the Mobius Catalog, a consortium of libraries in Missouri and the Midwest, and the WorldCat First Search Catalog, which includes libraries throughout the United States. Next, we search course reserves to find course-related materials placed on reserves by the instructor. And finally, we searched affordable textbook websites to find textbooks at cheaper prices. If you have any questions, visit the library's Ask Us page to get help from library staff and subject librarians. You can select Ask a Librarian for help. Scroll down to find out how to contact us by email, phone, text, and by chat. You can also contact subject librarians directly through their email or by phone.
Thank you for selecting this workshop.